There are times where you may not want certain traffic going through your network. This could be in the case of an unknown PC coming into an office block. To prevent this PC from accessing sensitive data, you can configure your switch with switch port port security to allow and disallow PCs based upon their MAC addresses. To set this up, we'll go into our office switch. And once we've gotten into our command line, we will enable our switch and go into configure terminal to global config mode. Now port security is done on a per interface basis. So we want to explicitly say what interfaces we want to make. So we want to say what security measures should be taken on a per port basis. Now as we have two office PCs and an office server, we're going to configure three ports with port security and the rest of them we're going to shut down. Now to work on a range of interfaces at a time, we go int range and then the interfaces you want to work on. So F0 slash 1 to F0 slash 3. There are different modes that a port will be in and this will be explained in a later video. So to make the port an access port we want to type switch switch port mode access and hit enter. Then we want to enable switch port security so type switch port and then port dash security. Now that port security is enabled we can specify a maximum amount of clients we want to access any individual port. For these ports we only want one client to access them so we'll type switch port port dash security again maximum then one. Now we need to tell the switch how we want it to learn MAC addresses. For this case we're going to use dynamic. I've already made a video explaining the different modes that you can have. So now we'll set how MAC addresses are learned. In this case it's going to be sticky. If you don't know all the options I made a previous video on it. So port dash security again and then MAC dash address and then sticky. So now we need to say how a switch will deal with an incorrect MAC address. So for this case I want a violation to be lodged but the port not to be shut down, just the packets dropped. So in that case we will go switch port, port security and then violation and restrict. Now that we're done setting up all the ports we'd expect to be using, we can exit out of here and go to all the unused ports. So int range f0-4 to 24 because it's a 20 port, 24 port switch. And then type shutdown. Now if we exit out of our switch and connect our PC up to the switch, and wait for the lights to turn green and then we give both our PCs an IP I have made the server already a 192.168.1.1 so I'll make this one .12 with the same subnet mask I will do the same for the other PC And now that all the lights have turned green, we'll see if we can connect to the server. As you can see, we've connected to the HTTP server. And everything's working properly. Now let's try connecting the unknown PC to the network. So we'll get a straight through cable connect it to another port on the switch and as you can see the lights are red therefore the unknown PC cannot connect to any other port 
but let's say our unknown PC manages to take the Ethernet connection of another computer. So we'll steal this. So now that the lights turn green, we can try accessing the web browser. So let's try and connect to the server just like the other ones did. So as you can see, it has a problem connecting, so we'll try ping it and see if it works. And as you see, it's struggling to ping as well. So if we go and look at the switch, then type show port security interface F0 slash 2, we'll see that the maximum total MAC addresses are at 1 and the total MAC addresses are at 1. So if we disconnect the unknown PC and connect back to the office PC and then we wait for this light to turn green, we should be able to go and access the browser again. And we'll just wait for that to turn green. Now that the browser's turned green, we'll try to go to the web page. And as you can see, we can go to the web page. So our configuration has allowed this PC, even after it's been disconnected, to reconnect and go back to the server while denying the unknown PC.